What we are seeing, for example, is that 50 to 20 percent of population of China, which we know that when we when we think about the, the concrete numbers, we're talking about millions of people are facing more frequent and moderated severe effects of drought. So this is this is to start seeing in China. What what do we see on Europe? It's the effects on crops, for example, uh, with a big amount of area affected by drought. And at the same time, this implies losing, um, losing crops. Just adopting certain techniques, doing some of this restoration and some of these agricultural practices, plus these cisterns, the life of a lot of these people, very uh, vulnerable communities in some of these regions, has been transformed. The interesting thing is that there has been some exchange of knowledge with some countries in Africa as well. And then you can see the magic it's like magic, actually, because that land that looks so destroyed, just with certain actions like this, and sometimes they're not really expensive. They they're very cost effective, and they can. There are practical solutions that we are seeing.